Modern research methods have allowed scientists to discover thousands of exoplanets, providing us with real chances to search for life beyond our planet. In recent years, only a small part of the Milky Way has been explored. Based on the analysis of data from the Kepler Space Telescope, it has become clear that the number of planets in our galaxy exceeds the number of stars. This indicates that there are more than a trillion planets in the Milky Way, and many of them are comparable in size to Earth. Is it possible to find at least one that could become a suitable place for life? Man has always been curious about whether there is life beyond Earth. Within the solar system, no organisms even remotely resembling those on Earth have been found, so it was decided to search among planets belonging to other star systems. Over the past three decades, astronomers have discovered more than 5,000 exoplanets. Many of them differ significantly from Earth, being gas giants. They amaze with their differences in composition, sizes, and even surface conditions. However, amidst this diversity, scientists are searching for worlds that could be similar to our home planet, Earth-like planets where life could exist. It is believed that the possibility of water presence on the surface of a celestial body depends on the distance separating the planet from the star around which it orbits. In our solar system, only three planets are in the zone where conditions may be suitable for life. However, only Earth has optimal conditions, while Mars is too cold and Venus is too hot for life as we know it. To detect exoplanets, astronomers use various methods, ranging from measuring changes in the brightness of a star as a planet passes in front of it, to analyzing how planets affect the motion of their parent stars. They utilize modern telescopes both on Earth and in space to explore subtle signs indicating the presence of planets. Usually, objects in the zone where life could exist are located at a vast distance from us. However, in 2016, scientists discovered an exoplanet that is surprisingly close, just four light years away. The nearest exoplanet to Earth, Proxima b, has drawn astronomers' attention due to its potential life-supporting conditions. Studies suggest that Proxima b likely has at least a portion of its surface in the habitable zone, which could support the existence of liquid water. The planet's size and mass are approximately similar to Earth's, indicating the possibility of a rocky surface similar to our own. Apart from its potential habitability, Proxima b is also noteworthy for its star, Proxima Centauri. It is a red dwarf nearly ten times smaller than the Sun and a thousand times dimmer. It is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which includes two other stars that are closer and closely bound to each other. The planet is very close to its star, completing one orbit around it every 11 Earth days. Despite the proximity, due to the star's low luminosity, the planet receives just enough heat for water on its surface to exist in liquid form and not freeze into perpetual ice. Researchers speculate that the exoplanet is tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star. The constant surface temperature is 234 Kelvin or minus 39 degrees Celsius. However, if life exists on Proxima b, it would be constantly under the threat of instant extinction due to the flashes of activity from Proxima Centauri. The red dwarf is known for its variability and the intensity of solar flares, which could significantly impact the atmosphere and conditions on the planet. The star emits strong radiation onto the planet, which likely led to the evaporation of all water in the distant past. Only a dense atmosphere and a robust global magnetic field comparable to Earth's could sustain life on the planet for an extended period. At present, scientists cannot conclusively determine whether the planet is habitable. Research on Proxima b is ongoing, and in the near future we may learn more about its characteristics, atmospheric composition, and the possibility of life. 
In July 2019, astronomers from the University of Göttingen made a remarkable discovery. According to the lead researcher, two planets, T Garden B and T Garden C, located in the Aries constellation and situated 12 light years away from Earth, may be suitable for life. T Garden C has a surface temperature of approximately minus 47 degrees Celsius due to its distance from its star. However, T Garden B, as estimated by astronomers, has an average temperature of about 28 degrees Celsius. This planet is considered the most promising candidate for hosting life in the entire history of research, boasting the highest Earth Similarity Index currently. Despite its proximity to us, T Garden's star was only discovered in 2003. The mass of this star is only 9% of the Sun's mass, and its temperature approaches around 26-23 degrees Celsius. The age of T. Garden's star is approximately 12 billion years. Interestingly, T. Garden stands out among other red dwarfs due to its unique tranquility, diverging from the typical characteristics of such objects in the universe. This implies that T. Garden B is not subjected to intense energy outbursts from its parent star. A year on T. Garden B lasts only four days, meaning, considering the size and temperature of the star, the exoplanet receives more heat than Earth does from the Sun. The average surface temperature of this planet is 28 degrees Celsius compared to Earth's 15 degrees. This suggests that T. Garden B provides more favorable conditions for the emergence of complex life forms, as the elevated temperature ensures the accelerated progression of chemical reactions. T. Garden's star is much older than the Sun, indicating that T. Garden B is likely much older than Earth. It seems that the planet had more time in reserve for biochemical reactions that could lead to the emergence of life. A hypothetical evolution, lasting longer than on Earth, could have led to the development of intelligent beings. If we continue our journey for another 10 light years in the direction of the Scorpius constellation, we will come across the super-Earth Gliese 667 cc, orbiting its parent star, Gliese 667 c. This star is part of a triple star system, with both Gliese 667A and B being more massive than the smaller companion. It is a red dwarf star and significantly fainter compared to our Sun. The surface temperature of Gliese 667C reaches 3,400 degrees Celsius. Due to this, it emits less radiation and has a luminosity greater than 1% of the solar value. Water has been discovered on the exoplanet, raising questions about the possibility of life. It has been named a super-Earth because the planet is four times larger than Earth but smaller than Uranus and Neptune. If the inclination of its orbit is not too small and, consequently, its mass is not too large, the greenhouse effect created by a dense enough atmosphere could potentially create comfortable conditions for the existence of primitive forms of life on the planet. Gliese 667 cc is part of a system where several stars form a stellar system. This means that the view of the sky on the planet would be unlike what we see on Earth. In the sky, other stars could be visible, perhaps even several times brighter than our Sun, depending on the distance and characteristics of other stars in the system. The surface of the exoplanet can be diverse. Considering the distance and the type of star around which it orbits, one might assume that the temperature and climate on this planet could be similar to Earth's conditions. However, Specific details about the atmosphere, surface, and potential forms of life on this planet remain a mystery as our observations are still quite limited. On May 2, 2016, in the constellation of Aquarius, approximately 40 light years away from the solar system, a Earth-like exoplanet named TRAPPIST-1d was discovered in the habitable zone of the ultra-cool dwarf star TRAPPIST-1. 
Initially, seven planets were detected around the star, and later it was revealed that all of them were Earth-like. TRAPPIST-1d, along with six other exoplanets, was identified using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope through the transit method. TRAPPIST-1d is the least massive planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system and likely has a hydrogen-poor atmosphere similar to Earth's. Additionally, the planet receives only 4% more heat and energy from its parent star than Earth receives from the Sun. Recent observations indicated that approximately 5% of TRAPPIST-1d's mass consists of various elements, such as atmosphere, oceans, and icy formations. Being the third planet in the Red Dwarf system, TRAPPIST-1d orbits the star at a distance slightly over 3 million kilometers, and its year lasts only four Earth days. The temperature of TRAPPIST-1d could be around 9 degrees Celsius if the planet's surface reflects little light. However, if we imagine the planet's surface to be more Earth-like, reflecting light similarly, the temperature could be around minus 15 degrees Celsius. Due to the vast distance at which this planet is located, conducting more detailed studies is currently challenging. Nevertheless, astronomers are exploring various methods to obtain more detailed information about the planets. This includes more precise telescopes, new observation and data analysis methods, as well as future space missions specifically designed to study exoplanets. The exoplanet TOI 700D represents a remarkable discovery made by a scientific team led by Emily Gilbert using the TESS space telescope. It became the first Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of its star discovered by this telescope. This relatively small exoplanet, similar in size to Earth, orbits the red dwarf TOI 700 in the Dorado constellation, approximately 101 light-years away from us. It is the fourth farthest planet in the system and revolves around its star at a distance of approximately 24 million kilometers, completing one orbit in about 37 days. Its size is comparable to Earth, with a radius approximately 19% larger than our planet. TY 700D is estimated to receive about 86% of the solar energy that we receive from our Sun. If it also has an atmosphere similar to Earth's, the average temperature there could be around 268 Kelvin or minus 4 degrees Celsius. 2I700 is a red dwarf, a star smaller and cooler by 50% compared to our Sun. This indicates that TOI 700D is in the zone where conditions for life could theoretically exist, and due to its Earth-like similarities orbiting this star, it is likely that an atmosphere could be preserved. The exoplanet Kepler-1649c, initially deemed a false signal by the Kepler Space Telescope, was later confirmed as a real discovery in 2020. The planet is located approximately 301 light-years away from us in the Cygnus constellation. Scientists compare it to Earth due to its size and composition. Slightly larger and more massive than Earth, Kepler-1649c is likely composed of rock and is relatively close to its star, possibly always facing the same side towards it. Due to its proximity to the star, it receives about 75% of the sunlight that Earth receives from the Sun. Kepler-1649, the star around which the exoplanet orbits, is smaller than our Sun, and only two planets are known in its system, with Kepler-1649c being the farthest. Despite being in the habitable zone, uncertainties exist regarding its atmosphere and the ability to retain water on the surface. Kepler 1649b is another planet in this system, located closer to the star. It is similar in size to Venus in our solar system and is also in a zone that could potentially support life. 
However, due to its close proximity to the star, scientists speculate that it might have very high surface temperatures. Currently, details about its atmosphere and the possibility of liquid water are unknown. Many questions remain about the climate and atmosphere of Kepler 1649c. Scientists believe that solar flares from the star could have impacted its habitability potential, possibly stripping away its atmosphere. Models suggest that the planet's climate might be Earth-like, but specific details remain a mystery. For over 30 years, scientists have been exploring exoplanets, discovering thousands of worlds, yet they haven't found a single conclusive sign of life beyond our planet. It might seem like this implies our uniqueness, but in reality, researchers are only at the very beginning. If calculations are correct, as of today, we know only a fraction of a percent of all the exoplanets in the Milky Way. Advancements in new technologies and the improvement of telescopic quality indicate that many more astonishing discoveries await scientists in the future. If, like us, you are fascinated by the mysteries of the cosmos, don't forget to support our channel. Give a like to this video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to our channel to not miss out on new captivating stories about space.